I am back. Hey, guess what? Another dose of Call of Duty Ghosts. Yes, getting ready for that Black Ops 3 to drop, taking a break from AW, and I'm getting on the Ghosts. Now, I want to show you guys this gameplay. This gameplay is what I'm going to call a more typical gameplay. It's not going to be one where I'm just dominating, I'm holding it down, I'm going flawless. Look at the guys I'm playing down there. Look at Goonie Bird and Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain actually knows who I am. He sent me a note. So I'm going to show you guys a gameplay in which I get laid down, a gameplay in which I got to make adjustments, a gameplay in where they're countering me, and a gameplay that's going to be competitive. You're not going to know who's going to win this game until the very last second. We're about to put in some work. But anyway, so what I do, tend to do is I get into the game and I try to get into my typical spots. And a lot of times I get people laying me down. Now, here's the problem. Like I said, I got Goonie Bird. I got Rocky Mountain. I got these guys on the other team. They know who I am. I play with this Goonie guy. I've never spoke to him or talked to him. But this guy is like what I call a grenade master. Look at Rocky Mountain coming around, laying me down real fast. It's okay. And you're going to see that in the game. Anytime I play Goonie Bird, he doesn't too, but he'll throw like 8,000 grenades. I don't know how he gets so many. It's like the whole team is aiming at you. Look at him. He's already trying to throw up uh, uh, a grenade. Did you see that? That was Goonie Bird. I shot him. And that's what I'm talking about. So what I have to do is I have to make a lot of adjustments in this game and adjust to their play style. Look, I laid Rocky Mountain down. And that's what happens. Sometimes I get into a game. I can't even get to my spot. Or even if I do get to my spot, I get someone that owns me. They know what I'm going to do. And I'm going to tell you right now, if I'm playing against a whole team, like I got into a game with S Ace Fetty and them, I knew I was going to get laid down. Like these guys, it's five, six guys on a team. They all got four KDs. It's almost impossible to play people like that, especially as a solo player. Like right now I'm running solo. I don't have any friends with me. But if it's one or two players teaming up, I can do all right. I'm not worried about that. But I have a hard time going against a whole team. I think most people would look at this guy. He laid him down, but he wasn't ready for me. Get out of here, turd. Let me collect that tag and be a team player. Now, if you notice, I still haven't gotten into my spot. Look at that. Here come the grenades. I see you, Goonie. Grenade that, son. And look, I am now 6-3. and three. Now, this is what happens a lot of times. You get into a game and you got to improvise. I'm not able to get to my spot, but I know they're coming from this direction. Look at this. And look at him. The first thing he does is launch grenades. That guy is the grenade king. I don't know what it is with Goonie, but he, he loads those grenades up and he just keeps... Launching them and look at this. See, for me, it's just a matter of getting to the right spot. Look, I am nine and three. Now I am thankful. At least I have some teammates that's able to put in work. I don't necessarily need the best teammates in the world. I don't need teammates that are going to be beasts, but I need teammates that are at least going to collect tags. And look at Goonie. He's running with support, so he's going to be dropping oracles and ground jammers. And look at it. Here come the grenades. Here come the grenades. Look, I'm trying to avoid these things because that's what Goonie does. He doesn't even attempt to try to come kill you i mean he does try to come kill you but he'll launch so many grenades at you look grenade i'm running grenades everywhere i'm trying to avoid these grenades like the plague and while i'm doing it, i'm trying to lay these guys down look at this i see you over there i see him over there. look he's going to be throwing a grenade everywhere i go i'm getting attacked by grenades and it's a good thing he has the oracle up. so these are all the things i'm battling i'm battling grenades i'm battling dogs i'm battling oracles and i'm trying to be a team player now I'm not going to be the guy that leads us in tags, not this game. Look at this. Oh, look how many grenades. What? There are so many grenades I can even get away from them. Just grenade balls everywhere. And that's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm not able to set up a spot. But it still doesn't stop me from doing what I need to do. I just got to keep that in mind. I know they're going to throw grenades. So sometimes you got to move around a little bit or not stay in the same spot or catch him off guard like that. Look, he wasn't ready for it. I was just sitting there guarding my sentry gun because I figured he was going for it. Look, I'm putting IDs and key spots at least i could take oh oh i thought that was one of the bad guys look at goonie bird destroying my battle hind this guy is doing everything and you got to respect that like this guy's going to get a monster amount of tags now i played with him several times i would say he's a heck of a competitor now i do appreciate the fact he's not running with the team those are the hardest guys in the world Ooh, look i just got a double bubble haha <laughs> goonie was part of it you get these guys who run in teams and packs, and they're, they're almost un unstoppable. You look at their win percentages. I saw a guy, his win percentage was like 40 or something. I didn't even know that was possible. Some of these guys are just, they're great team players. I'm not sure how they would do individually, but I can tell you as a team, they're almost impossible to stop. Now, for me, it's just a matter of trying not to die. Look at these guys. I know they're going to launch the grenades. I know I'm not going to be able to hold into a spot too long. But if I can disrupt the flow and kind of just keep things, you know, going. And that's what I'm trying to do in this game. See, look at this. Even though these guys are coming at me and they're coming at me hard, I'm still being fairly successful. Look, I'm 22 and 4. I got teammates running support. You can't even knock that. Look at that. Let me get a ballistic jacket. And I'm going to put my IMS there. And look, I'm going to try to get back into the spot. Now, I find this side of the steps to be a lot more helpful in these situations when they're throwing grenades. 
Now look at this. My IMS just took a guy out. While he was dying, he destroyed the IMS. The IMS went off. He turned around and put it to sleep. That's what you call someone that knows what they are doing. A lot of times people will die with the IMS when it goes to kill them. And they'll just let it take them out and they're done. Now this is definitely one of my favorite spots. Now look at this game. These guys aren't giving up. They're pushing. I'm 25 and 4, but I am getting a challenge from these guys. I actually like games like this. This is probably my favorite games to play. Don't get me wrong. I put videos on here where I go flawless, 40 and 0, and sometimes I'm wrecking people and they don't counter me. But I also like the challenge. For me, it's not all about KD. If I wanted to, I could play it safe. I can get on a profile and play it safe and have a 7, 8, 9 KD, especially in Ghost. I'm not saying I can do that in every cop, but in Ghost, I definitely feel like I could have a 7 to 10 KD just by playing it safe. But I'll get in games where I'm going to get wrecked. Like I said, Playing against Ace Fetty and them, I jumped into a game. I knew they was going to wreck me. I stuck around for a little bit. I'm not going to even lie. I didn't even stay the whole game because I've seen these guys play on Twitch. And I was like, they go drop kill chem strikes and everything else. And I was watching my teammates. So I was just running around with a ripper trying to collect tag. I think the only thing that was frustrating for me is I had a ripper on. A ripper with, with um, I was that, rapid fire. And I was hitting these guys and they weren't dying, which doesn't make sense. They didn't even have ballistic jackets on. I shot one guy in the back with a ripper. He turned around and killed me. So I'm like, mm. you know, in my mind, you think these guys are either cheating or the internet connection is bad. You don't want to think anyone's a cheater, but you're like, that That has to be internet. If I hit you with a ripper, you you die. But sometimes you get in games with these guys. They're just so good. It seems like they just, for some reason, the regular guns just don't work against these guys. And look at this. This game is pretty close. Teammate dropped a Kim. I'm pretty sure he got it in the care package. I don't think he earned the Kim. I'm not looking at score, but look at this. I'm still 33 and 7, and I'm just using all my senses at this point. Now, I did watch a really great video recently, and it was from Wings of Redemption, and he was talking about camping. And he wasn't, he was talking about why he camps, the fact that he doesn't have to camp, but the fact that he uses all his senses. And for him, playing this game is about, ooh, look at that double bubble. Lay it down. And look at this setup there. I got an IMS there. I got a, a sentry gun facing that way, but I'm still moving. Normally, when you have a setup like that, you would stay in one place, but these guys are all over the place. So I'm just trying to get into good locations. And look at that. See how I got the first shot on that guy, and that guy still took me out? That happens sometimes, and it was Goonie Bird. Look at him. He laid me down. For me, it's just a matter of just being in the right positions and trying to call some helter-skelter for these guys. Look, that guy's right there. Look out. Move. Move. This guy was in my way. I'm trying to get away, and my teammate's standing in the way. Now, here's the trouble. They got an Oracle. I'm sitting here. Look, the Oracle just lit me up. You know you're going to die. Look how competitive. The game is 52 to 42. I got 41 bombs dropped. Look at that. 41 bombs and 9. I'm still doing pretty well, but look at this. They're hitting me with everything. I just got hit with the Odin, so I can't hear anything. Look at that. He laid my teammate down. I laid you down. Look at this. Denying tags, trying to be a team player, and got laid down. Now, in a lot of situations, I can just hold back and take a team out. And I'll show you guys some great spots that work. But no matter what, no matter how many spots I show you, there is not one full one foolproof spot in this game. I know a lot of people complain about the campers and things of that nature. But this game has so many count counters. You know, people complain about the IEDs. But you can run, go ahead and run Blast Shield. Um, you're sick of them using all the equipment. You can go ahead and run something like um, the Ground Jammer. I just felt like a lot of people were too lazy to get good at this game. Oh, look at that. That's the kind of dog I have. The kind that does nothing. <laughs> that dog was worthless. And look at the score. The score is 56 to 52. These guys are staying in it. They are going hard. Now, some people will complain. Like, the only reason they're in is because you're not collecting tags. But look at this. Tell me I'm not getting score streak after score streak. I'm putting IMSs. I'm putting sentry guns all around. I don't know how many battle hinds I have. I feel like my job on the team is to be the wrecker i'm the guy that's trying to create tags not necessarily collect them all so i often i do need some teammate that's going to go ahead and put in the work and collect the tags i'm not saying every tag but it helps when you have some teammates that can collect a tag for you and that's why i like playing with a different um oh look at this here come the grenades the grenades are back oh look i'm landing down look at that. i got a 48 bomb can i drop a 50 bomb and look we are down one point at this point so me i want to get in a position where i can at least collect a tag look my sentry gun is putting in work I got my sentry gun aiming at that door. And look, he destroyed it. Nice move. Touche, but get laid down, son. Here, let me put this battle hind up. It's 51 seconds. Look at the score. Ooh, I got laid down. Look how close this is. See, they're going to tag. Oh, he got the tag. At this point, I want to be a team player. Look at this. It's 64, 64, 63. It is close. Where's these guys at? 64 to 64. Oh, it's any man's game. It's only, oh, look at that. Oh, I got a double bubble. Did you see that? Oh, my IED for the win. 
52 and 12 with 11 tags. Now, to me, this was an exciting game. It wasn't me just holding one spot down. I was improvising. Look at your boy Goonie with 56 tags. I got respect for that. Shout out to Rocky Mountain. All right, you guys. I am out. This is your dose of ghosts. Let's go.